Hi yogis, welcome to Flow with Low. I'm Low, and it is time to flow. Happy New Year, happy 2023, and welcome to the very first Well Woman Wednesday of the new year. I'm so excited that you're here. Today we're gonna to be doing a short and sweet Shakti flow for power and energy. Now Shakti within the Hindu faith is the divine feminine energy that is believed to reside and rest at the base of the spine. The imagery associated with it is a serpent, and the idea is that in moving in certain ways, we awaken and allow that serpent to arise throughout the entire energy body, activating and awakening all seven chakras as it moves up, ultimately leading us to you know enlightenment, awakening, nirvana, whatever. So today we are going to be doing a practice that activates that energy center. Now, shameless plug, my very first free masterclass of 2023 is next Wednesday, January 11th at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's called Nourish, and it is all about your feminine energy, really activating and engaging with your divine feminine energy, specifically within the context of your sacral chakra and your infradian rhythm. Your infradian rhythm is the 28-day cycle that dictates your menstrual cycle. And what we're going to be doing is learning how to mindfully and intentionally engage with that rhythm, allow it to nourish us, mind, body, and soul every month throughout the entire year, and then use that as a foundation to create our 2023 blueprint for holistic success. So on the surface, it looks like learning about your infradian rhythm and figuring out how to tangibly nourish yourself, mind, body, and soul. But underneath, it's about activating your self-expression. It's about tapping into your sensuality and your creativity, your pleasure centers, uh, your ability to set and maintain healthy boundaries, your ability to open and receive abundance in all of its forms. So this is really just the work of the sacral. So really working with, healing, activating, engaging, and aligning to the energy that's housed within our sacral space which is also what we're going to kind of tap into today with our practice. So I invite you into that space with me. Again, it's totally free next Wednesday or 111 at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be a replay. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link for you to register here in the notes of the video. Let me know if you have any questions. But aside from that, grab your mat and let's go. All right, yogis, just like with every practice or most of our practices that we do together, we're going to begin in a nice, easy seated position. I'm going to invite you to open your palms, allow them to rest on your knees. Just coming into the present moment. A lot has happened since we last met here on the mat. We had the holidays, we had the new year, and all of the kind of chaos that can go along with that. So. Let's just take a moment to breathe here together intentionally, mindfully. Let's take a deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let it out through the mouth. Let's do it again in through the nose. And exhale. One more time, deep inhale into the nose. And then exhale. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Connecting just for a brief moment to the body, to the breath, to the self. Noticing how it feels to be in your body today without judgment. Now bring both hands down to your belly, to your womb space, just taking a moment. So often the only thing that we need to do to begin really healing our relationship with our cycles, with our bodies, with our wounds, is to just begin to pay attention. Just begin to tune in and listen to what the body has to say. Sending loving energy into this part of ourselves that many of us have been taught to hate, honestly. But it is the source of so much power and wisdom. When we choose to align with it and to allow it to inform us, a world of abundance opens up. So just take a moment, tuning in, listening, Sending your breath deep, deep into the belly. Seeing that breath swirl around your womb. And 
One more inhale here together, yogis. Inhale through the nose. And release. Bringing the palms again to rest on the knees. We're going to inhale, arms up. Opening the eyes, turning the gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, cactus the arms, pressing the chest forward. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, cactus those arms. One more time. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, cactus in the arms. This time taking it into a twist to the left. Right hand finds left knee. Left hand finds the mat behind you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Rooting down through the sits bones as you draw the crown of your head high towards the ceiling. And exhale, back through center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, taking your twist to the other side. Again, rooting down through the sit bones. Drawing the crown of the head high towards the ceiling. And drawing the belly button easy even closer in towards the spine to protect the low back. And exhale, bring it back to center. And we're going to begin to take some torso rotations, almost like you're stirring a cauldron. So your inhale is going to bring your chest forward and your exhale is going to send it back. Inhale forward and exhale back. Find your own rhythm. Follow the breath. Allow it to move you intuitively. And as you do this, begin to really tap into that Shakti energy, the idea of the Shakti resting at the base of your spine. We're beginning to wake that energy up, right? With these gentle rotations, it should also feel really good in the upper body, maybe the low back. <sighs> Next time you bring it to the front, pause, and then switch directions. Exhale, send you back. Inhale, brings you forward. Exhale, send you back. Inhale, brings you forward. Beautiful job, yogis. Keep it up. One more time. Even it out. And then come to stillness. Bring the soles of the feet together, coming into a bound angle pose. Just grabbing gently onto the ankles. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, gentle bend in the elbows as you fold forward, bringing the forehead closer to the toes. Breathing into the inner thighs and the groin here as we prepare for the Shakti flow. Hmm. Next, inhale, we're gonna bring it back up, close the knees together like a book, and then make your way into your tabletop position. So during this, actually, before we get into tabletop, sit back down, sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to make you dizzy. But before we do that, I really wanna focus your attention on your core. So this is a Shakti practice. You can do Shakti practices for just about anything, but this one in particular is for power and energy. And I really want you to focus on engaging through the core and the pelvic floor. All right, so I want you to envision your, your kind of your torso here almost as like a canister. The top of the canister is up here at the top of your abdominals. And then the bottom of the canister is actually your pelvic floor. So I want you to focus on engaging through the pelvic floor. And the way we do that is just by gently squeezing, almost as if we're trying to stop the flow of urine. And we just kind of hold it there. And then we can open, like we can release, tighten and release, tighten and release. So I want you to really focus on engaging these core abdominal muscles throughout this entire practice. Really activating through the deep inner abdominals and really, really tapping into that Shakti energy and the power and the, the energy and the creativity that comes from accessing that part of ourselves, okay? So really focus on, in yoga we call it Mula Bandha or root lock. So it kind of taking this deep inhale and then engaging through the pelvic floor or the, the Mula Bandha, drawing it up, feeling as if you're drawing, it's your perineum, drawing your perineum up, 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 as, as high as you can, almost envision this elevator. It's this elevator metaphor. It's moving up, 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 up. And then as you exhale, you release it and you let the elevator drop back down nice and slow. Inhale, draw the elevator up, 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 up. And then exhale, let the elevator down. 
right? So I want you to intentionally engage that part of your core as we move through this to kind of enhance and amplify your activation of the Shakti energy. Got it? Okay, now let's move into all fours quadruped. And here's a great place to go ahead and begin activating that pelvic floor. And don't worry, I've got an entire flow dedicated to pelvic floor health coming later this month. But we're just going to do a little bit of it here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, drop the belly, turn the gaze of the tailbone high, coming into a cow pose. Perineum and the pelvic floor are relaxed here. And then as you inhale, I want you to think about engaging through the core, engaging through the pelvic floor and the perineum, drawing the chin and the tailbone closer together as you arch to the back. And exhale, release. Drop the belly. Inhale, draw it up. And exhale, drop it down. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, drop it down. Come into a neutral spine. Bring the big toes together to touch knees apart. Sink the hips down to the heels and reach the fingertips away, coming into a child's pose. We're going to move into our actual Shakti flow here. So take a few deep breaths. Begin engaging through that pelvic floor every chance you get. Being mindful of that part of the body, sending your attention there. On your next inhale, we're going to slither forward, coming onto the belly. Plant the tops of the feet, bring the palms to rest to kind of plant under the shoulders here. And we're just going to inhale and do a body wave coming up into a cobra. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale, brings it up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, flow it down. From here, plant that left hand, reach the right arm out to the right beside you. Take a bend in the left knee and then scorpion that left leg behind you, almost like a scorpion's um, tail. And you're just going to twist over on to that right shoulder, bringing the right temple to the floor. This is one of my favorite stretches for the chest. Exhale, release, and we're just going to switch sides. So planting the right hand this time, letting the left arm find just a, a long position out here to the left. Bend in the right knee, and then float the right leg over, planting the right foot behind you. <sighs> Should feel really good. A deep stretch across the front of the chest. And the next one's going to bring you back onto your belly. Plant the palms, tuck the toes, inhale, and as you exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Take a second, walk your dog, pedal it out. Wag your tail if that feels good. Engage through the core the entire time. Let's take three deep breaths here, yogis. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, release. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, release. And then one more time, this time coming up on to the, to the tippy tippy toes. Inhale. And then exhale, sink the heels back down. Next, inhale, drop it down onto all fours again. Coming into your quadruped, taking cat, cat cow again. So inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round the spine, engaging through the pelvic floor. Oh, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, draw the spine in. One more time, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round the back. Inhale, and as you exhale, drop it back down into your child's pose. Okay, so that's the flow for our Shakti. 
All right, so we go from child's pose into cobra, up to downward facing dog, back down to cat cow, and then finally we return back here to our child's pose. So we're gonna do that flow for a total of seven times. Okay, seven times is a number that is associated with the divine feminine. So we're gonna do it seven times. Normally I would like to do it 13, but 13 feels like a lot. <laughs> so we'll do it for seven and see how we feel, okay? All right, so gather yourself, get ready. We're gonna engage through that pelvic floor and the inner abdominals as much as humanly possible as we move through this. That way we're really, really inviting that Shakti energy at the base of the spine to open up, to wake up, to flow through our body. Okay, so it can activate that rainbow bridge. All right, we ready, yogis? Let's inhale, slither it forward. Inhale, up to cobra. And we're still gonna wave it out, exhale down. Inhale, wave it up. All right, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale it up. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog. Find a breath here. Now you wag your tail. Inhale, and as you exhale, drop it down, cat cow. Drop the belly. Inhale, round the back. Drop the belly, inhale. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, neutral spine, sit it back, child's pose. Beautiful job, that's one time. Six more. <laughs> inhale, slither it forward. Coming into your cobra, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, wave it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. And exhale down, cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Activate through the pelvic floor. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. One more time, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round the back. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child's pose. Two. Inhale, slither forward, coming into cobra. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. I want you to feel yourself getting stronger. As we move through this flow, your body is gonna develop muscle memory and the postures and the flow should become a little bit easier as we move through. Inhale, exhale, lower down, cat cow. Inhale, drops the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round the spine. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child pose. Three. Take a breath. See if you can't move with a little more certainty this time, a little more power. Execute each pose just with a little bit more power, okay? So let's go, inhale, slither it forward. Drop it down, cobra, inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, feel every muscle in the upper body engaging, inhale up. Exhale down, tuck the toes, press it back, downward facing dog, engaging through the core. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, lower down, cat cow. Inhale, lower the belly. Exhale, round the back, engage through the pelvic floor. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child's pose. Four. Inhale, slither forward. 
Exhale, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, wave it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, wave it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, wave it down. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, on the exhale, bring it back. Quadruped. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round the spine. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child pose. Five, you have two more to go, or three more, three more. No, two more, sorry, two more. <laughs> two more to go, yogis. Let's bring it forward, inhale, slither forward. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring it up, engage it through the entire upper body. Press, press, press the tops of the thighs and the tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child pose. Six, one more. Make it as strong and as powerful and as energetic as you can, yogis. Let's go. Inhale, slither forward. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, bring it down to all fours. Find your cat cow. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Rounding out through the back. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, child's pose. Beautiful job, yogis. So amazing. Just gonna take a second and stretch it all back out. So press through the left hand as you thread the right arm underneath that left shoulder. Bring the right temple to the mat, stretching out through the upper back. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I am feeling warm. I am feeling powerful. I am feeling activated. Oh, inhale is going to bring you back through center. And exhale, we're just going to switch sides. Inhale back through center. One more stretch here in child's pose. And then inhale, engaging through that core, coming up ever so slowly. We're just gonna do a modified camel to open up through the chest. So we're gonna bring the right hand to the mat behind us, and we're just gonna lift the hips up as we reach the left arm back. Inhale. Exhale, flow it around and plant the left hand as you reach the right arm back. Inhale, flow it around. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale, flow it around. Exhale, reach it back. Beautiful. And one opportunity for the full expression of camel. We're going to come up onto our knees here. And we're just going to take our hands to the low back to provide a little support. Inhale. 
and exhale, open the chest as you take a little back bend here. If this feels like enough, then stay right here. If you'd like to go all out, then bring the hands down to find the heels, pressing the chest forward. And also feel free to let the head hang here. One more breath. Bring the left hand to the low back, followed by the right, supporting your way back up. Sit the hips down, this time keeping the legs closer together, coming into a rabbit pose to counter that back bend. Bringing the forehead down to the mat and the hands to the heels. Beautiful job today, yogis. Make your way into a crisscross yogi sauce. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I feel powerful. I feel energized, I feel activated, and I feel so excited. Shakti energy, feminine energy, isn't always just about being sensual and flowy and creative. While those aspects of the feminine are so beautiful, the feminine also has aspects of power and energy and you know, those are aspects of the, of the feminine that we get to tap into and embody also. And all of the different aspects of the feminine reside within us. They're here to serve us. They're here to help us experience lives that are abundant and thriving. The key is knowing how to tap into them. Well, the key first is knowing that they exist and then knowing how to tap into them and when to really utilize them for our greatest advantages. So, I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling powerful. I hope you're feeling strong and aligned. And I hope that you bring all of this into whatever you're, you're endeavoring into in 2023. So thank you so much for flowing with me today. And I will see you next week for another Well Woman Wednesday. Bye.